Hey you guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I have my melting basket for April 2019. And as I always state before, um, my videos generally start, you're gonna see a lot of wax. There's a lot of wax, but I will not get through everything, but rather I like to have a lot of choice. And that's why I make this basket so large each month um, because I have so many bins of things uh, separated by brands and so on that I just pull out a whole bunch of things that I have the whole month to kind of go through what I like to look at, what, what I like to smell and so on and so forth. So um, April's going to be kind of a tricky month. I'm probably, like February, not going to have melt as much as I would say in the month of March, as you probably have seen or will see in my empties. Um, because not only am I going to Texas for a week, but I'm also going to visit my parents over at Easter break for over the Easter long weekend. So with that said, um, again, I won't melt all of this. I won't even melt uh, like a little tiny little bit, like a quarter of this. Um, but I like the choices and I separate these items before you into a general basket. Um, and then I have one that's bedroom scents, coffee scents. Um, and bathroom scents, so I kind of also separate those as well. So anyway, moving right along, I will show you guys what I've got here. So these are these next few ones are all three wick candles from Bath and Body Works that I have chopped up, and there's videos on my playlist showing you what I have done to do that. So we have the almond scent and London tea and lemon. I know things are gonna fall over, I'm sure. <laughs> Bath and Body Works Vanilla Bean Marshmallow. Lemongrass. Sparkling Pear Riesling, which I know is one of Brenda's favorites. Soft, which is Pink Petal Tea Cake. And Intense Coffee, probably my favorite pun of any candle company so far. <laughs> um, so an Intense Coffee scented candle. All right, so now I'm going to do, let's do bathing garden. So, and again, if you see, or if you're hearing me and seeing me pull out certain brands, like for instance, the next one's bathing garden. Um, I have playlists for the bathing garden. And from there, you know, like you can look at what I've purchased and what I've liked and what I didn't like in the past as well. All right, so first up, we have Frosted Snow Angels. This is a winter, a lot of these are winter ones, but some of them, I'm, not all of them, sorry. This is a winter one that I purchased, but um, I feel like the Sentinel descriptions would still ring true to right now. This one, however, is Blackberry Jam and Lemon Curd, which is quite lovely. I thought it would be great for spring and going into summer. Fantasy Punch. The Olive Lemon um, glo Grove? Grove. Lemon Grove. That makes way more sense. This is Lavender Vanilla Custard. Wolfbane's Bites. One of my favorite coffee blends. Elf Morning Blend. Tricky Banana Treats. And Reindeer Town. So there we have it. There we have it, folks. That's bathing garden. All right, so let's go on to, let's do some sensationals, which you can find at Walmart. Um, we've got Magic Spell, which is Love Spell. So good. I'm so glad that here in Canada we can finally get this. This is a Blackberry cashmere that I got into a bin dive in the Canadian Walmart. This is Rose Gold. Black Pepper and Rosemary. Sorry, I gotta try and remember to pull my and the back. Pumpkin marshmallow cream, which I think is like, there's really not much pumpkin in it per se, but I think that um, it can be melted anytime because it's just really a sweet, creamy scent. So that's why I have it out for now. All right, so let's continue on with some Walmart wax and let's talk about Better Homes and Gardens. As always, I try to keep one of these around. This is Vanilla Cookie Crunch. This is American Walmart. Then we have Better Homes and Gardens, Black Currant and Bay. Sorry. Geranium and patchouli. Lemon, lemongrass and ginger. Lime eucalyptus. And lavender vanilla. 
There's those. I have more, of course. Then we have Orange Blossom Oak. Savory Blackberry Cobbler. Fresh Pulled Taffy. And one of my sexiest melts ever. Caramel Sugared Fig. Oof, so good. A little very sexy. All right, let's continue on with the clams. I'm gonna bring over all my Super Tarts clams and I've got just a couple of bad bags that I have pulled. Let's see here. We do have a lot of stuff, so sorry if I'm, there's a bit of a gap here. All right, let's start with, let's do the clams. All right, we have Big Brother, which I'm watching Big Brother Canada right now. It's amazing. Hermione. Magically Delicious, Great White, Ellen, let's move those ones back, do 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 do, trying to make it look half pretty, okay, Lord of the Melts Arwen, Lucky Lemons, Tart Trex Borg, Fake and Bake, And we have Minerva, which is my one of my favorites ever. Jaws, both great bathroom blends in my opinion. Then we have Violet, Tate, Bridget Jones's Diary, and Bella's Blood. Actually, Bella's Blood was one of those ones that surprised me. I wasn't sure if I was going to like it. I've melted a full clam of that before, and it's fantastic. I really, I got way more liveliness from it than I was expecting. Full House. It's always tea time. Rosalie. And there's Penguin. And Star Trek's Data, Flash, Ron, and Happy Birthday. And the two bags that I have pulled, I have lots, but um, like I say, I'm just trying to use some of my older things. I'm really trying to, again, like I've said before, I'm really consciously trying to melt what I have. Um, really bringing out some of the older pieces that I have and melting those right now as well. Um, and you guys probably notice I haven't really bought much. I wanted to so badly, but um, the last items that I have purchased were the advent calendars for Super Tarts and Rainbow Melts, and that was it. So that was purchased back in like September, October for those, and received them in December. So, anyway, uh, Frosted Tangerine Roses. This is again with a band bag. Oh man this is casper from super tarts and this has cornbread in it or is it cornbread yeah where is it yes um that's how i realize i love cornbread so if that's saying something i hope so all right let's do some goose creek goose creek i love and they have a couple sales in a year a year and i think they got one coming up in may so we have peanut butter and jelly carrot cake which course fitting for Easter time strawberry jam which is a staple I love this thank you to my Ramona I have since purchased like four of them myself or five I don't even remember this is a repurchase of sweet banana bread really enjoyed this one also a repurchase is banana pudding they are very different they do have banana but they are different so that's that okay let's go on to some rose girls here I'll probably be chopping a lot of this up for the summertime, but I will always, I should probably just take, I've got three really big slices of a pie, half pie in Alice in Slumberland, which is from Rose Girls. And I should probably should just take one out and just chop it up. Cause I find if I don't chop things like vintage chic scents, coins and stuff, if I don't have one chopped up or on the ready, um, I tend to kind of like, oh, glance over and go to something else. So that's why I'm having so much of it. This is absolute coffee, which is absolutely delicious. Now on its own or mixed with Rose Girls Peppermint. No worries. These are all like mini melters here. Macintosh Madness, which is beautiful. Love that one. 
also on its own or mixed with marshmallow smoothie. That one's good. I've also mixed the Tosh Madness with her pear. So also enjoy that. Then we have eucalyptus. Oh, one of my favorites. The olive branch. So good. Uh, if you guys love the olive branch from Lush, you would love that. And the only bag that I have, a chunk bag here, is Pete Cakes Fluff Puffs, which I bought. That was fitting for Easter. They're huge slices, um, but this would be great for Easter as well. Also Rose Girls. So that's all my Rose Girls. And let's do some vintage chic scents. Gonna move things over again. Mm -hmm. How's everybody doing? Hope it's starting to warm up where everybody is. It's finally warming up here. And as soon as it warms up, of course it rains because we are also known as the wet coast. That's always fun. <laughs> But yeah, so we had a, when we get snow here, it seems like we just get dumped all at once. No other time of the year. It's not consistent. It's just like a big dump in one week, and we got a record amount of snow that we've ever had ever. And I believe we had the coldest month of February in the history of it being recorded. Like it was ridiculous. So okay, back on topic. We're gonna do some vintage geek sense. We have a Grandma's Pearls, Margot's Ballerina Clouds, and Jackie O. Sandy's Famous Orange Julius. Pop Art. Lady Diana's Dress of the Century. Then we have, oh, these ones are the coins. We have coins in Rockford Peaches. Queen Anne's Lace. And then, big, big bags. Chumped up, chopped, chopped up loaves. Sugar peppermint, excuse me, sugar peppermint embeds. Hello, gorgeous Opacore. Let's see here. Imogene's Lavender Supreme Embeds, Margot Pearl's Opacore a theme here. We have Cafe Riggio and Jackie O's Cup of Joe. I'm going to see a lot of orangey type scents that I love to pull out for the spring. I think or I think of orange I like that in like the springtime like April, May. Grandma's Grandma Max Blackberry Patch Embeds and here comes the sun over four. Grandma's Pearls. Grandma Mac and Lancelot and Genevieve, or uh, Guinevere. Guinevere, that's how you say that. I think that particular spelling. Guinevere. Deep Slumber. Central Park Snow Globe, which is peppermint, so it goes well with everything and anything, like pretty much anything. Jackie O's Orange Sorbet. Sorbet. Jackie O's, O's Orange Sherbert. My goodness. Blackberry Jackie O. Mrs. Domingo's Dream. That is it for the vintage vintage chic scents. Then I have what's left of my ginormous loaf from Hayden Rowe Love Spell. And yes, it is my absolute favorite. I love Love Spell. Uh, from Hayden Row, and I'm literally down to my last few pieces. So I would definitely get a full on loaf. Like this is like a super, super loaf size when I bought it back and it was poured in April of 2017. And you guys, it still is holding true it's, to its scent. So um, I like that. I like that very much. And then we have a couple Southbound Soap Company or it's actually Southbound Camelco now. This is Cafe Cream Puffs, one of my absolute favorite coffee blends. And this is her Strawberry Seduction, which I believe she had a pull-up. I don't know when this video is going up, but she had a pull-up um, as to kind of what we want, what we, the customers, would like to see in her next uh, pour. And I did check this one off because it is very scrumptious. But I don't, not saying that I'm buying anything, but it is a very good blend and it does very well and it lasts quite a while. Um, I found this actually hiding in a corner. <laughs> This is Sassy Girl Aromas. You can even look at the sticker. It is very old. Tangerine Coconut Cream Birthday Cake. So, um, yeah, so I found that hiding again. You gotta look through your stuff. You gotta really look through your stuff because 
They can surprise you. And then we have a couple L3 Waxy Wonder scoops. This is in the scent Saturday Morning Cartoons. And this one is in uh, Hera's Revenge. So those are scoopables. And oh, my beloved. Yeah, these are all um, Sugar and Spice Gourmet Soy Candle Company wax melts that she doesn't, she hasn't poured in quite some time. So you can check out her site, but there's not much to look at right now. We can only hope that she will open again soon, but if she doesn't, she doesn't. I totally get it. Family comes first. Uh, I'm not hoarding my, my scent shots anymore because I want to use them before they go. So we have a love spell type, as you guys already know, as I already mentioned how much I love love spell. Mac, apple, and marshmallow. Sorry, I'm trying to get this in focus. Blackberry marshmallow fluff. Blackberry, which is also really a great blender as well. Bodacious blackberry, which I think there's blueberry and black. There's a bunch of berries together in that one. All right, so let's go do some rainbow melts. Again, I found some other stuff. I found a bag of stuff that I hadn't, I forgot I even had um, in the back of my bin. So I have rainbow melts, vanilla tobacco, like a little bag. Then we have sweet candy lemonade and fall in a mug. So that's like coffee. And then one of my favorite blends of hers is Sleepyhead. And also another favorite zucchini jam, which I think is, what is that? This, I wanted to say there was something, Strawberry Fields from Vintage Cheek Scents smells to me exactly the same as zucchini jam from Rainbow Melt. So if you can't get one get and get the other. This is Snow Clouds, also very delicious. Gotta chop this up again, it's one of those things I gotta chop it up and I know I'll use it when I do that. This is uh, Pink Sugar and Gourmet Sugar Cookies. And we have a Mary C Cafe, just a coffee scent as well. All right, so let's get some, some glitterati here. Again, these have been sitting in my, bag, uh, my bins and I'm gonna use them because I'm not sitting around and waiting and holding on and hoarding. I'm well over that. I'm past that. I've been in this wax game, if you will, now for long enough to have kind of gone like this when it comes to my purchases and my feeling overwhelmed and so on and so forth. And I'm not de-stashing my wax anymore. I find that's just, it's, it's a lot of work. So I'm really only buying the things I know I like or that I think that by the sounds of it, I will buy in the future, but truly I am just trying to get through. I literally have two years supply of wax, easy. And that's me changing it out if I were to change it out every day, twice a day. So anyway, back to the fact that I haven't used any of my Glitterati, but here's Glitterati in Blue Water Orchid. Basil and Sage Mint. Love Spells, Lemon Drops and Lemon Biscotti. Jam Cookies Vanilla Buttercream Crunch. Again, those are some things I should probably uh, chop up as well. I've got this little scent shot here, and it's almost full, but this is also Glitterati, and this is in Purple Rain. And then I am hoping to buy more of this when I go to Texas in two weeks. I'm filming it exactly two weeks from the day that I'm leaving, and I just got off a FaceTime chat with Ramona, so I'm so stoked. So I'm going to go visit her. We've decided, actually, because we haven't had a lot of people saying that we're going to meet us up in Dallas. We're going to go up to Dallas and visit Char, and then we're going to turn around and we're going to come down to San Antonio. So I'm really hoping to see my, some of my friends here from YouTube that I know and I communicate with down in San Antonio. So anyway, um, anyway, I'm hoping to get more of this, which is the Yankee Candle Sun Drenched Apricot Roses. It's beautiful. Um, again, I'm not a really big fan on like floral, but man, that's good. This I received in my stocking from Santa. This is Paris from um, Tyler Candle Company. So I've never even heard of this, but that's cool. Ramona sent me these. This is from Swanky, and this is in the scent Fizzy Pop Lollipop Punch Cotton Candy. So that sounds really cool. That's really, that sounds really, really good actually. And then Tallulah & Poe, which is a Canadian company. I have pink sunglasses. A pink lemon cookie. 
and a clam of things we love. Oh, sorry, things we love. And then I've got one little thing from Zape. I've got Hello Sunday, which is a coffee scent. And I have three things from Scentsy. We have Sweet Plum Pastry, Blackberry Orange Marmalade, and lastly, but certainly not least, one of my favorites ever, is Huckleberry and Clementine. So that is what I've got, you guys. That is everything. So that's quite a bit. Again, I'm not gonna go through it all. <laughs> but rather, I just like to have a lot on hand so I don't have to go into my bins individually because again, I sort them by vendor. That's just how I do mine. Um, and yeah, so there you go. As always, you guys, be safe, take care, and have fun. And if I see you in either Dallas, Houston, or San Antonio, I hope I get to. Just follow me on social media. All of that's down below. Thanks, guys. Bye.